Hi, boys and girls. I hope you are all doing well. I miss you all so very much. And so I thought, since we can't be at church together right now, learning about Jesus and learning things in the Bible, I thought I would tell you some Bible stories. So I bought a book for all of us. It's called the Jesus Storybook Bible. And there's lots of fun stories in here. So I thought we would start right at the beginning and we could go through it until we can be back together again. So I'm going to give you the introduction now, and then every week there'll be a new story for you, okay? So the first one is called The Story and the Song, and it's going to introduce this book to us. And it starts by saying, the heavens are singing about how great God is, and the skies are shouting it out. See what God has made. Day after day, night after night, they are speaking to us. And that came from Psalm Chapter 19, verses 1 and 2. God wrote, I love you. He wrote it in the sky and on the earth and under the sea. He wrote his message everywhere because God created everything in his world to reflect him like a mirror, to show us what he is like, to help us know him, and to make our hearts sing. The way a kitten chases her tail, the way red poppies grow wild, the way a dolphin swims, and God put it into words too and wrote it in a book called the Bible. Hey, we know that book. We've been studying that book together, right? I'm going to show you the picture. Okay. Now, some people think that the Bible is a book of rules, telling you what you should and shouldn't do. The Bible certainly does have some rules in it. They show you how life works best. But the Bible isn't mainly about you and what you should be doing. It's about God and what he has done. Other people think the Bible is a book of heroes, showing you people you should copy. The Bible does have some heroes in it, but as you'll soon find out, most of the people in the Bible aren't heroes at all. They make some big mistakes, sometimes on purpose. They get afraid and run away. At times, they are downright mean. And look, there's some pictures here of all of the people that are in the Bible. There's Noah and Moses David, Leah, Daniel, Mary, Peter, Joseph, Abraham, and Saul. No, the Bible isn't a book of rules or a book of heroes. The Bible is most of all a story. And it's an adventure story about a young hero who comes from a far country to win back his lost treasure. It's a love story about a brave prince who leaves his palace, his throne, everything, to rescue the one he loves. It's like the most wonderful fairy tales that has come true in real life. You see, the best thing about this story is it's true. And so th for those of you learning in school about fiction and nonfiction, fiction is what's not real, but nonfiction is what's real. So the Bible is all nonfiction. There are lots of stories in the Bible but all the stories are telling one big story, the story of how God loves his children and comes to rescue them. It takes the whole Bible to tell this story. And at the center of the story, there is a baby. We know about that baby, right? We've been studying about the baby Jesus. Every story in the Bible whispers his name. He is like the missing piece in a puzzle, the piece that makes all the other pieces fit together. And suddenly you can see a beautiful picture. And this is no ordinary baby. This is the child upon whom everything would depend. This is the child who would one day, but wait. Our story starts, our story starts where all good stories start, right at the very beginning. I'm going to show you this here. See, there's the story. Okay, so that was our introduction for this week. Next week, we're going to start with the first story. I hope you enjoy this. And I really hope I get to see you soon. Bye, everyone.